everyone. Um, as regular viewers will know, the bookcase behind me used to be the banister railings on our landing and we replaced it with something much more practical. I recently had a little rearrangement of the bookcases around the house. I was trying to make a bit more room, wanted to see if I could get a few more books out that weren't really out on display, that I wanted out on display. And I think I've finally got something that I'm happy with. You'll probably notice though over the year this might change and books will disappear from here and I'll get new ones on here but this is how it stands at the moment and I thought you guys might like to see it. So first up over here we have the collection of Minecraft guidebooks in here. They're a nice set of hardbacks. There's one on combat, redstone, construction and the beginners which is probably the one I should start with but that's because the boys in this house play a lot of Minecraft. So we have the guides to go with them and we're also getting all the latest ones as well. Here we have my husband's collection of Stackbot which is a card building game, I think. This is our oversized dice from Geekinson. Geekinson make um, game tables and we've actually got one of their tables downstairs. So we get our dice with it. My squidgy ball, this came from Windermere and inside are lots of sea animals. And then on this side we have First Aid for Fairies, this is book one in the series by Larry Dunn. Beyond the Deep Wood, The Edge Chronicles, this is by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddle. And Muddle Earth, also by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddle. This is a humorous look and retelling at Lord of the Rings. It's very, very good. Over here we start off with the Six of Crows duology, which is obviously Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, best by Leia Bardugo. I really like this series. If you want a good adventure, something slightly different, short, you know, it's only two books, read this. It's really, really good. And then there's the Passenger duology. This is Passenger and Wayfarer. These are by Alexandra Bracken. This is a time travelling romance, the sort of pirate treasure hunt possibly ish um this is such an interesting world and an interesting concept but it could have been a lot better then we've got my cornelia funk pile here so i've got book one in the reckless series i really i'm waiting for book three to come out in paperback because it will match this one and i've got to pick up book two these are the revised and re um issued publications of the original series and we've got the first two books in the Inkheart trilogy, so here's Inkheart and here's Inkspell. Um, we're trying to get hold of Ink Death, it's got the matching cover to go with these, because yes I could go out and buy a new edition of Ink Death, but it's going to be a completely different cover and that's just going to be wrong on so many levels. And over here I've got a couple of my bookmarks, which are kind of cool. We have my Once Upon a Time collection, so I've got Once Upon a Time Reds Untold Tale, this is by Wendy Tobler which is set before season one and tells us more about Red Riding Hood or Ruby as she's known as it in the storybook. And then there's Once Upon a Time Reawakened. This is based on season one of the series and effectively tells us as Emma's story um, and obviously highlights that are related to her story alone in here. Then I've got the Disney Enchanted book of the film. Um, which is great because I love Enchanted. I like the way it just takes the mick out of so many Disney films. It's Beauty and the Beast. This is also the book of the film. This is the um, Emma Watson version of Beauty and the Beast, not the animated version. I've yet to read this, so I need to see if there's any differences in here as opposed to the film. And then I've got The Whole New World, Twisted Tale. This is by Liz Browswell. Um, she's written quite a few of these Twisted Tales. Mine are just on loan to a friend at the moment. Um, I've not read this one, but as you can tell, it's the Aladdin version. Sword in the Stone by T.H. White. Harriet the Spy and the Long Secret by Louise Fitzherbert. I like them. I read them when I was a kid. Swallowdale and Secret Water by Arthur Ransom. Spellbinder Book One, Rihanna's World. Uh, Mark Sheriffs and John Thompson. God, it's years since I've read this. It's based on an Australian TV series. Really good. And then we've got my Diane Wynne Jones collection, Hexwood, The Merlin Conspiracy, Enchanted Glass, The Islands of Chaldea, The Homeward Bounders, Steel of the Souls, Witch Week, Lives of Christopher Chant, and the audio version of Charmed Life read by Tom Baker. Not sure where my book copy's gone though. Next up it's my Young Sherlock Holmes collection. I've got Snake Bite currently downstairs because I'm reading that. Death Cloud, Red Leech, 
Black Ice Firestorm and these are all written by Andrew Lane. And then finally on the shelf I've got the first two books in the Tunnels series. So this is Tunnels and Deeper. These are written by Roderick Gordon and Brian Williams and I think I've read both of these. I've certainly read the first one but they're really good, really interesting and I'm actually, actually trying to pick up the rest of the books. <laughs> and then it's my eldest son's shelf so here's some of his books. Sherlock Holmes and the Disappearing Diamond by Sam Hearn. Doctor Strange, novelisation of the film. Guardians of the Galaxy, cosmic team-up, graphic novel. And then it's Star Wars Adventures in Wild Space. I've got The Escape and The Snare, both by Calvin Scott. This is The True Meaning of Smack Day by Adam Rex. Um, this is what Home was very loosely based upon. Um, it's a completely different story, effectively inside, with a few bits that made it onto the film. Obviously... We have the Harry Potter collection in the middle, written by J.K. Rowling. Um, Chamber of Secrets is currently out of the front because that's the one he's reading. Then we have the Squire's Tales. Oh, we've got three of these books. Sir Gawain and his squire and his lady. The Ballad of Sir Dinad and the Savage Damsel and the Dwarf, all written by Gerald Morris. Next up is his Wimpy Kids series. The Long Haul, Cabin Fever, Dirkly Truth, Dog Days. Last Straw and Roderick Rules. The Invisible Detective, Weather and Nubis by Justin Richards. The Be Wild Birds and A Boggle at Be Wildwood by Tom Blofeld. A Series of Unfortunate Events, Book 1, A Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket. And Book 1 and 2 of The Spiderwick Chronicles, The Field Guide and A Giant Problem. Written by Tony Derezza and Holly Black. Up here we've got a couple of... Um, card games of my husband's so we've got Cthulhu Flux and Gloom. I've got Cogheart and Moonlocket by Peter Van Zell. Um, I've yet to read Moonlocket but this is the first one Cogheart and if you like steampunk fantasy for the younger reading this is ideal. This is a little magnetic game thingy like Scrabble. We never quite play it properly but it's great fun particularly to make up words. And then we've got Zombie Flux and Normal Flux here. This is my Diana Gabadon shelf. Uh, fans of Outlander, you'll know what's going to be on here. So I've got Cross Stitch. Um, apparently this has been edited when it was released, so I'm going to have to go and get myself another copy of Outlander. Dragonfly and Amber. This is an old library copy. Voyager. Drums of Autumn. The Fiery Cross. Echo in the Bone. Lord John and the Private Matter. The Scottish Prisoner. Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade. As you can tell, I haven't quite got all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Then I've got A Discovery of Witches. This is book one in the All Souls trilogy, written by Deborah Harkness. Don't know where I'm going to put the rest of them. Okay, this is my husband's shelf. So we have his Andy McDermott's and his James Rowling's here. So we have Kingdom of Darkness, Temple of the Gods, The Valhalla Prophecy, The Sacred Vault, and Empire of Gold. So the Tomb of Hercules and the Secret of Excalibur. There's another one about somewhere which I think might be out to a friend. Let me start with this James Rowland collection. So we've got Deep Fathom, Amazonia, Judas Strain, Black Order, Map of Bones, Sandstorm and Excavation, The Last Oracle, The Doomsday Key and Altar of Eden. Doing the bottom shelf down here has proven to be a real pain, so here we go. Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Mass. Court of Wings and Ruin, also by Sarah J Mass. Many Coloured Land by Julian May. And Eliza Rose by Lucy Worsley. And then we have my collection of hardback YA books from Fairy Loot. Strange the Dreamer by Lani Taylor. Caravel by Stephanie Garber. Frostblood by Ellie Blake. Given to the Sea by Mindy McGuinness. Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rona Bazell. So, now on to the third shelf. Alex Scarrow Remade. Waiting for book two. Some story cubes. A round dice because the partner seems to have gone missing. And then we have some music CDs over here that my youngest likes to listen to and also ones that I want to get my hands on quite easily. Coming down the shelf, we've got a few of my husband's games. So we've got Tiny Epic Galaxies and Tiny Epic Kingdoms, both very good games for those of you who don't know, and Star Realms as well, which I always really like playing, even though it's aimed at like teenagers and upwards. Then we've got the Alex Scarrow collection. This is the Time Riders series, so book one, Time Riders, Day of the Predator, Doomsday Code, the Eternal Wall, City of Shadows, and the Infinity Code. We haven't got all of them. We are missing, I think, three out of the series, but we'll pick them up when we can. And then finally on the shelf, we have our Skullduggery Pleasant collection. Book one is currently being read. 
Flame with Fire, Faceless One, Dark Days, Mortal Coil, and Deathbringer. These were all from the charity shop, so we didn't pay full whack for them, which is rather nice. Um, but yes, found out there's quite a few more in the series, and we're really, really liking them. They are all written by Derek Landry, in case you were wondering. Now we're going to go down a shelf. We've got Primeval, book one and three. These are TV tie-ins. Uh, a Rip in Time, which is like the first one in the series, and The Lost Predator. Um, they're both adapted. My Little Dragon. And then we've got Primeval um, standalone novels. So Shadow of the Jaguar by Stephen Saval. Lost Island, that's by Paul Kearney. Extinction Event, that's by Dan Abner. And Fire and Water, and that's by Simon Gurrier. For some zombie days. And a bag of little dice. We've got the Orc trilogy. This is the first Orc trilogy done, written by Stan Nichols. So we've got Body of Lightning, Legion of Thunder, and Warriors of the Tempest. We've read book one. Terry Pratchett, Nation. Charlie Higson, The Enemy. Peregrine's, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. We've got the complete set of these. It's Hollow City and Library of Souls. And then down on the very bottom shelf, We've got my husband's Matthew Riley books down here. Contest. Great Zoo of China. Ice Station. Area 7. Hell Island. Scarecrow. Scarecrow and the Army of Thieves. Seven Ancient Wonders. Six Sacred Stones. Five Greatest Warriors. Four Legendary Kingdoms. The next one will involve the number three in its title. Just in case you were wondering. And then we have a couple of heroes. This is Heroes Saving Charlie. This is written by... Ori Wallington. This is a beautiful book. Will make you cry. And this is Heroes Reborn Collection 1. This is a series of short stories based on the rebooted series. Okay, last shelf. Brian Jacks, The Angel's Command. I've got this in hardback and paperback. The complete roll doll on audio. These are complete and unabridged. Great. And then the Castaways of the Flying Dutchman. There's only three books in this series because unfortunately Brian Jakes died before he finished writing them. So, Castaways of Flying Dutchman, The Angel's Command, and Voyage of the Slaves. Down here is my Red Wall collection, also written by Brian Jakes. So, got some of the maps and posters, friend and foe, mice, otters, badgers, and the Red Wall map. Two editions of Red Wall, which is the first book in the series. I've got different covers, why not? This was actually the first one I picked up. This was second hand from a very good second hand bookshop in Hitchin, where I was living close to at the time. Mossflower, Massimia, Salamanderstrom. Mariawa Redwall's currently out. Hubby's reading it. Martin the Warrior, The Bellmaker, Outcast of Redwall. Mole Fox, The Tungarung, Rackety Town, Ilelalu. That might be how you say it. Doom White, and then my hardbacks. Pearls of Lutra, first book I ever got signed. Two editions of Trist, because pretty covers. Lone Hedge, and High Rule Alone. I have the 10th anniversary release of Redwall in hardback. Lord Brocktree, Legend of Luke, The Long Patrol, A Redwall Winter's Tale, The Sable Queen, and The Rogue Crew. Last two, I had to get the American editions because I could not find a copy of these in the UK at all, which is ridiculous because it's a UK author. Some of you might have noticed my Redwall books aren't actually in publication or reading order. Um, that's because not all of these books will fit standing up, so I've had to lie some of them down um, just to get everything to fit. But I do have a reading order. We've got Sushi Go, great little card game. And now we're into my youngest books. So he has the complete DK Star Wars. These are little read-alongs um, based on reading ability. Mouse Guard, this was a free comic book day. Graphic novel given out. Amazing Battles, which is DC Comics superheroes. He's really into this sort of stuff. And Space Justice. Got Wonder Woman on it, he's happy. And then finally, down the bottom shelf, Snot Monster by Ian Billings. Sequest, um, Sefer Hallux, Cyber Squid by Adam Blade. Boys are really into them at the moment. This is Beast Quest, Golden Armor, Solar Tracks, the Stone Charmer. Beast Quest, Epos, the Flame Bird. Beast Quest, Nanook, the Snow Monster. Beast Quest, Tagus the Horseman. And Early Reader, Beast Quest, this is Kragos and Kildor, the Two Headed Demon. Then he's got Tom Palmer's Rugby Academy collection. This is a trilogy, very much if you've got a reluctant reader who likes a bit of sport kind of stuff. So we have Combat Zone, Surface to Air, and Deadlock. Ninja Meerkats, The Ultimate Dragon Warrior by Gareth P. Jones. I have no idea why. 
The Awful Orphan Elf by Gillian Johnson. Some of these books were brought from the library sale. Warrior Heroes, The Viking's Revenge by Benjamin Hume Cross. And The Knight's Enemies. Scream Street, Flesh as a Zombie by Tommy Dombavada. Howard Henry's Author Visit by Francesca Simon. Voyage to the Volcano, A Great Gloran Adventure by Tom Banks. Blob by David Williams. Dick King Smith's Magnus Power Mouse. Lazlo's Strange Lover's Tooth and Claw. I don't even think he's read this one. And his first Bible. There should also be my neighbour Totoro down here, but he's currently getting that read to him. And very, very finally, we've got a massive pile of Simpsons graphic novels. The big bratty book of Bart Simpson. Simpsons Comic Spectacular. Bouncy book of Bart Simpson. Barn Burner. Big beefy book of Bart Simpson. Simpsons Comics Royale. Simpsons Comics Strike Back. Simpsons Comics Jam Pack Jamboree. Simpsons Comics Extravaganza. Simpsons Comics On Parade. Big Book of Bart Simpson. Simpsons Comics Simpsonama. Simpsons Comics Big Bonanza. And Simpsons Comics Madness. And there's some of our favourites. We've got the Spine Tingling Spooktacular. The Heebie Jeebie Hullabaloo. The Treehouse of Horror Hoodoo Voodoo Bar Boo Ha Ha. Treehouse of Horror, Dead Man's Jest. So that's how my bookcase currently stands at the moment with all the books on it. Let me know if there's anything on there that you've got that you really enjoy. Um, most of the books on these shelves I have actually read. There's about half a dozen that haven't been read at all yet. Uh, thank you very much for sticking with it. This will be nicely edited, hopefully, um, so you will get all the nice highlights from it. Thank you very much for watching. Happy reading, everyone.